up, YouTubers? As you can tell, I'm switching things up just slightly right here. I got a chesty, as you can see, and uh, you know, I'm trying it out. I like the low view anyway. We're gonna see if it, uh, if it looks good when you mix things up, you know? Uh, the helmet shake, you know, you, everybody gets the helmet shake, and you know, I was just wondering if there'd be a little less jiggle on my chest. Everybody wants a little jiggle on their chest, right? That's what happens if you eat lots of nachos with that fake cheesy stuff. You get some jiggle on your chest, jiggle on your chest. So, uh, in the news today, in the news today, as I put on my best news ring voice and I do a face like this, all concerned, uh, in the news today, I'm gonna do the top 10 things that I'm grateful for this year. And, uh, I'm going to the rockiness. I'm going to what I called last year the valley of gratitude. Up now, by a hit band from the 1970s, it's Valley of Gratitude. This is Casey Crankcase with a snaky snacker. So anyway, tell me what you think about the GoPro chesty. Now that I'm on that subject again, you probably like, you know, that view of the, oh, oh, yep. yeah, you're, you're right there. That's probably taken up half of your screen real estate there. You've probably seen, uh, seen the, top 10 list here, right there. Well, let's get started on the top 10 list. And uh, the funny thing is, I'm starting this series on, you know, how to how to grow your YouTube audience and make videos that hopefully piss less people off. One of the tips though is uh, don't make super long videos. You know what, this one's gonna be a super long video. You probably already saw the time code and left. And that's okay, I don't mind. You can leave, your time is your time is very valuable. I don't know, there are people who have written me very, very kind messages. I mean, it's almost like anytime there's something that goes wrong, like this community just steps up and makes, makes me feel awesome and valuable and a worthwhile human being, you know, and uh, it's really quite cool. This community, a community. Without further ado, we'll get started. And my face shield is fogging up because it's actually kind of chilly out there. It's like 50. I'm so spoiled. Somebody's gonna come shank me. They're gonna come to Utah and be like, let's ride motorcycles, ever ride? And then shank me right in the gut. And I deserve it. I deserve it. I get shanked in the gut on the way to the Valley of Gratitude. So number 10 of the things that I'm grateful for. Let me, whoop, whoop, ah, ah, there we go. Number 10 on the things that I'm grateful for this year is the ability to move to St. George. But I left my job up north, my teaching job. Uh, walked out of a house that was not really ours, but it was kind of a rent to own situation. Rent to burp own. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being so random. I need, to, I need to focus. Let me sit up here where it's nice and pretty, where you can see all these trails. And my face. And just focus. Let me clean you off. You know, if I feel like I'm being dirty. Uh, <laughs> That's not appropriate. Uh, shield your children's eyes. Moving to St. George. That was a big one, okay? Look at this place. There's year-round riding. It's warm weather. It's open. Open, everything's open, except for single tracks where crazy meth head mountain bikers will threaten your life. So moving to St. George is the number 10, right? Number nine is you guys. You, oh, yes, you. <laughs> little cutie in there. <laughs> number ten, number nine is is you. And and you know what? I really am very grateful for you guys. Every one of you guys. I feel kind of cool. I'm not one of these superstars that gets like 5,000 subscribers their very first year. I've been been around a little longer than that. But I did get 5,000 subscribers this year. That's really cool. And I don't know if that's because my channel is anything neat at all. I think it's just because the genre is growing. Oh crap! A mountain biker. Oh my gosh. Okay, he went on a single track. That's like watching a snake go down his hole. Mountain bikers are sly creatures. They love to maim and injure before they 
finish you off with a tirade of self-righteousness. I pedal my bike so I'm better than you. I <laughs> probably should have cut that out. My mountain biking buddies. <sighs> the valley of gratitude. Now I have to approach him again. He's a scary dude. He's got that backpack. It's probably full of ninja stars and stuff. Oh, yes, he left. Oh, that's good news. He's off the trail again. Okay. Get up there. Number eight is... Uh... <laughs> I have to look down again. My focus is so limited. I like short-term memory issues. And this trail is really fun. Yeah, you just force me right out there. Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. <laughs> oh, man. This is where I turfed it on a Rojo Next bike last year. Why am I not standing? Because hmm. I'm just taking it easy. Oh, in neutral. Neutral. Oh, anyway. Okay, number eight. Uh, oh, that's right. When I came out of the closet. Wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. Happily married, very happily married. Heterosexual. Now, I came out of the closet about being depressed. And so, you know, I kind of had a difficult conversation with myself and with my subscribers. Really difficult. Uh, I did a sync ride with Doc Man Rides and basically talked about depression. And, and you know, that kind of stuff. Don't want to be a downer, you can go watch it if you want. But yeah, that stuff's hard to deal with. You know, I kind of think, okay, lots of people struggle with this stuff. I'm not alone. This community is so stinking cool. A lot of people came forward and they're like, hey, I struggle with this stuff too. Maybe it's not full-blown depression, but hey, everybody gets down. Here's some tips. And man, that was awesome. That's, that helped so much, you guys. It helped so much. Ah, oh, we're already here. We're already at the other side of the Valley Gratitude and I'm already... I'm this is where the writing ends. Oh, this is such an awesome place. I'm so grateful I'm here alone. <laughs> you guys are probably gonna bail on the video now. That's okay. <laughs> if there's anybody left. Ooh, hey. This is the Valley of Gratitude. It's funny because every time I come here, I always think, oh, you know, it's so small because when I look at it on... Uh, on the camera, the drop-off is not that far, and I'll give you a drop-off view there. The drop-off's not that far, and uh, it's not that vast. The camera kind of makes everything look washity-outy and washity-outy. But realistically, this is just a vast, vast area. So beautiful. But that's not the highlight right there. Nope. I don't even know if you can see my hand there, because the chesty. Please pardon me for not knowing how to work a chesty yet. Says me to my wife. <laughs> oh, Gotta be extra careful right here. And maybe a 300 foot drop off the edge of the old cliff here. Let me scoot right up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, number seven is getting a job teaching, doing what I love. That was awesome because, let's think about this. Uh, I had no idea that I was going to get that job or even had anything lined up. And uh, came down here, got the job. Phenomenal, right? In the grade level that I was used to teaching, high school, and in the subjects I was used to teaching, that's special education uh, resource classes. So that was awesome. That was really cool. Number six just happened a couple of weeks ago, and that was actually losing that same job. That's right, losing my job is now on the top 10 list of things that I'm grateful for because it has put into perspective all of these other really cool things that I could do. I mean, I've had people tell me, they're like, hey, you should start a motorcycling touring business down in southern Utah. You should do this, you should try that, you should, uh, you know, you should do filming, you should do stuff like that. And you know what? I've kind of taken that to heart because uh, my confidence has grown a lot this last year. And uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. So I've got the the bacon holder, Project Bacon Holder, going, doing uh, video tours. So people come down here, I show them some trails, and then I make a cool video documentary of it uh, for a little bit of cash. That'd be really cool. I don't know. All these ideas are coming around, but uh, the the gist of it is, is 
is uh, I'm going to fight for my family so that we don't lose our, our house. Okay, next one, um, the house. Speaking of the house, the house. We bought that uh, little twin home just a couple weeks ago. It's a nice little house. has a garage. That's fantastic. A place for the Black Widow to stay. That's all about that on my Facebook page. Very grateful for that. Um, <laughs> number four, surgery on my nether regions. Not the gentleman region, mind you. The, the ne nether region. The exhaust port. The Death Star exhaust port, if you follow my Facebook page. But um, that got repaired uh, in a surgery. And I have to say that's one of the biggest, most amazing, uh, I don't know, blessings of the year, of my life even. Very, very cool to get that fixed. And uh, extremely grateful that, that it did get fixed. Aside from getting my bum hole fixed, uh, earlier in the year there was an amazing event that occurred. My motorcycle got stolen. It turns out it was stolen by my friends, my newly acquired friends who came down uh, to ride with me. And uh, you guys, maybe you guys are tired of looking at this. It does, I promise you, it's, it's about 100,000 times more spectacular when you're here. So it's time to go down the trail, and, and you guys can uh, cross your fingers and hope that I crash, because uh, I have before coming down this trail. Oh, and as I awkwardly, awkwardly get up, hopefully we'll see the critter. Anyway, so number four is uh, receiving the kindest gift that I think anybody has ever given to me, and that is the total makeover of my motorcycle, the Black Widow. Such a sexy motorcycle. So extremely nice. Let's continue on. The Black Widow, it's uh, gorgeous. Number two, the second biggest uh, thing that I'm grateful for of 2013 and early 2014, one year since I've been in St. George now, by the way. The, the second biggest thing is uh, meeting some incredible people. Now I'm kind of cheating on this one because I actually met Mr. Rohonek earlier and, and I have to say that 2013-14 uh, was just as good uh, for meeting amazing people in real life. Uh, I got to meet Dusty Skeeto, super cool guy, but I got to know Mr. Duff Factor. And uh, this guy is, it, it, I mean, it's not just like, hey, I met this guy and we ride motorcycles together. It really is like, any advice he gives me, it is gospel doctrine to me. Because this guy's like my dad. And that's not in like a he's old way. That's like, he is just a wise, wise man. And uh, not only Mr. Duff Factor, but probably my best friend. My best friend, uh, Mr. Goat Cabeza. Mr. Goat Cabeza, or Brent, he is one of the coolest guys I've ever met in my life. Super smart, super nice, extremely humble. And he, like Mr. Duff Factor, when he speaks, I listen. It's because they're just super smart. They're wise. They have much wisdom to impart. So, uh, I just really, really appreciate these guys. These are some of the see, some of the best friends I've had in my life, and uh, really, really grateful for them. So, number two on the list is meeting some of the most incredible people that I've ever met in my life. Number one, number one, number one is da da da. -da if you follow me, you know what it is. Getting to know my kiddos. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Hopefully not run into that killer motor, uh, mountain biker. Number one is getting to know my children. Uh, I'm not gonna explain a lot about this because you guys probably have heard about it a lot. Huge blessing, huge blessing. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's the whole reason why I moved to St. George, or what I believe is the whole reason I moved to St. George. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link that uh, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I got it. I'm gonna put the link on my face. Right on my face. Go ahead and click that link on my face. Click the link on my face. Go ahead, face link me. Link my face. So, uh, that's my list. Now there's one more that, uh, this is cheating because it's technically a top 11, but number one thing that I'm grateful for this year, this, uh, 
this February is uh, 10 years ago on this day. Well, not on this day. <laughs> I'd be in trouble if it was 10 years ago on this day. 10 years ago on the 12th of February, I married my beautiful bride, Mrs. Adventure, my wife, my eternal companion, my best friend for life, just the, the most spectacular woman that I've ever met and that I believe I ever will meet. She is, she is everything to me and uh, I, you know, she misses a lot of my videos so maybe she won't watch this one, I don't know, but uh, I love her uh, so much. So glad that uh, I've been able to spend the last 10 and a little extra uh, years of my life with you. And uh, man, what, a, what an amazing blessing that is to know somebody and to be best friends with somebody that uh, you get to be with forever. It is awesome. So thank you a lot, babe. And uh, hopefully you watch this video so I can get a little love into my heart. Maybe you and me could go to a place and then we could probably get like a slurpee. Then we drink our slurpees and then we go to the car and we get in the car and we drive the car to a place where we probably watch a movie and after the movie or maybe before we go and get some food and make sure the food is not like fatty or anything greasy because you don't want to have burps when you're getting down and crazy! <laughs> From the 1960s hit soul music combo. We'll get in our car, we'll drive our car, we'll go to a place in our car. By Ever Ride. If you know who Casey Kasem is, you know that I nailed it. Oh my gosh, this vlog is ridiculously long. Thanks you guys so much for riding with me. I've had a ton of fun. Wow. Wow. Can I say that if you got to the end of this one, you're a champion. You're a champion and you deserve to come out here to Southern Utah and give the Black Widow a brap around the trails of Southern Utah. But if you disappear, I'm gonna hunt you down and cut off your face, and put it on my own lick of face. Wow. Wow. Vlog of the year right here. Vlog of the year, people. Oh man. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I really do love you, especially if you stay till the very end and you watch the whole thing. Oh my gosh, you might be insane, but you also might be a really good friend of mine. Thank you so much, much, much love. And I'll do this even though I'm not from Hawaii at all. Oh, oh, that guy just did a wheelie on like 125. Oh my gosh, he's doing wheelies. Do another wheelie. Oh, the burns. Fun times, guys. We'll see ya. We can't, we can't do what it no more. We can't do the show anymore. <laughs>